Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and first of all happy 4th of July to everyone. Uh, if you on the background if you hear some fireworks then of course that's also a notification that this is the 4th of July so happy 4th of July. Uh, this is the continuation of the implementing Angry Birds clone which is known as Ghetto Birds and this is I think the part number three in which we will cover collision detection. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it and see what is actually going on right now. Uh, and I highly do recommend that you go and watch first two pa parts, which uh, cover how to create the level, how to use the level helper, and how to use the sprite helper. So if I uh, touch the bird right now, it just goes and it collides with the pig, of course. Uh, and uh, but there is no really collision detection, you know, implemented at this point. So uh, we are going to go ahead and implement the collision detection now. All right. So the first step is to open the level helper. Let me find it where it is. That's weird. I just opened it and now it's closed. So we have a screen tester open. Uh, let me see where it is. Wow, that's kind of weird because I... All right, so let's, let me go over there and find level helper and open it. Um, here it is. Kind of weird because I just had it open two seconds ago. Uh, and I'm going to just say open recent project and uh, open the level. And I'm just going to say level number one. Okay. All right, and uh, just run it on the screen tester and you'll see, you'll, you'll get the same thing, right? So in order to do collision detection, there are a couple of things you need to do. Uh, you need to add the tags for the things that you're using, okay? So between the collision detection between a bird and a pig, you need to assign a tag to a bird and the pig. So if you go over here and see the right pane, you will see these properties, the tag. And by it, by you know, uh, default is uh, just the word default. But you can go and click this uh, settings icon and add different tags to it. And I've already added the Angry Bird tag and the Pig tag and all that stuff. So uh, if I go over here, I'm just going to select for Angry Bird. I'm just going to select Angry Bird tag, okay? And if I select Pig, I will select. Go ahead and select uh, the Pig tag. Okay, and that's pretty much what you need to do. You can then save the level, and whenever you assign a tag, whenever you create a new tag, then um, always do, always go to the file and then generate code. Okay? So if I say generate code over here, uh, let me see where my files are. I think if I go to Angry Birds, uh, I'm just going to select that. Uh, manually and then that's it so my code is now generated and now I have these tags in my code all right um, and that's pretty much it and now you are ready to use or you know do collision detection also one of the things you need to do after you add the objects to the world you need to tell the level helper loader that you are going to use the level helper collision handling and that is simply one method. You have to just call use level helper collision handling and so that uh, the level helper or your application will know that your collision handling, like the tags and everything, are defined in the level helper and you will be uh, using the support of the level helper. Okay, so what the level helper uh, author, or the developer, has actually done is that he has written a, a wrapper on top of the box 2D framework okay which allows you to do collision detection very easily so let's go over here and register our collisions so I'm just gonna say register begin or end collision between tag A and tag B and uh, tag A in this case I will say angry bird and tag B is a pig uh, a listener will be self and then the final one is the selector that we need to pass in and for selector, you will have a method that will be invoked when there is a collision happening between the two uh, two things. So uh, we will have a method over here, 
collision, uh, angry bird, and pig. Okay, and now you just need to implement this method to uh, you know get the ball rolling. So I'm just going to go ahead and say okay, void, and then you will have a collision. Actually, let me just paste that. Here we go, and it will pass in LH contact info. Very nice class. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the purpose of this class is. And uh, once you're in there, you can simply check for different things. You can check for the type of the collision. If this is the beginning of the collision or the end of the collision, uh, it's contact, uh, contact type. So if it is equal to the LH begin contact, okay? And uh, what you can do now is you can retrieve different things. I mean, the contact variable, LH contact info, will have the sprite A, and that's the beauty of this. So you can say contact, and then you have the sprite A, which is in this case is the angry bird itself, sprite B, which is of course a pig, and uh, once you have the sprite, of course, you can get the body, but you can also directly get the B2 body, which is a box 2D body with body A and body B. Okay. So, oops. Let's go over there where my method is. Uh, here. And I will say NS log um, collided. Whatever you want to say. All right. And that's pretty much what you need to do to register the collision and to basically get the things, uh, get the, you know, the collision thing working. So let's go ahead and run the application again. Not sure why it was saying undeclared selector. I, I believe I had the same thing. Ah, so there is something wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and see what it's saying. It says undeclared selector which is uh, Angry Bird and Pig and all that stuff, which is kind of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it should take this. Let's go ahead and run it again. That's because it takes one argument. And let's go ahead and run this. And now, um, let me show you how, how can I show this to you? Uh, there we go. See, collided, collided, collided. So it's number of times that the uh, Angry Bird was actually colliding with the with the with the pig, and now you you know how to do collision detection. Okay. So what do you want to do when when you collide with the like what happens right now? Let me run it again, and we'll see that what happens when. Uh, you know, when when the bird collides with uh, the pig, nothing basically happens. I mean, the pig is still alive, and you don't really want to do that because you have directly hit the pig uh, on the face, basically. So you want to kill the pig. So you are just going to say uh, sprite. Let me see if I can say uh, contact dot sprite b, and then. Uh, remove self let's see so in this case it's just going to mark it for removal and it will remove it from uh, our uh, basically the level helper scene and now your basically the pig is gone it's dead it's gone from the scene and of course you can do multiple different things over here uh, actually in the next tutorial i will show you that how you can perform some animation on the collision detection and then that will be a much more smoother transition of uh, eliminating something from the scene. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.